This is one thing I hate about every jump judge level part one. This was an easy pick for me. Worst thing is throwing manners of the triple spikes, as they're very annoying and out of place in the level. But back on track, I think it's to be all the jokes about him being the hardest level in the entire game. I couldn't find anything in the level that was actually bad, but I have to choose something, so I chose that. Bullet Guys was actually quite hard, so I have to choose two things for it. One is how bad the third coin is, and two is this jump at 95, which on mobile is so hard. The dryer, I think, is the beginning of the level. I think it's really boring and has terrible structuring to it. And the gameplay is the hardest in this point, which doesn't make sense for the level. And uh, whoops, I seems like I missed a coin. I guess I go after the end of the video now. But this is one thing I about every jump just level part two. For base after base, I think it has to be the coin placement in the level. All the coins are in spots that are easier to do than the main route and feel really unsatisfying to get. For can't let go, I chose how big of a difficulty spike it is compared to base after base. It took me 200 attempts to be can't let go compared to the usual 50 to 70 it took me to be the levels before it. For jumper, I think it is the whole level looks exactly the same. Almost every part is the exact same block design. Except for this tile section, I like this tile section. And for time machine. If you couldn't guess, it's because of the triple spikes in the level. And as promised, I'll end the video when I die. So... <laughs> this is one thing I hate about every jump just level part three. The cycles I chose the abundance of triple spikes in the first 30% of the level. The last part is fine, but the first part is really annoying because of how many there are. I don't mention coins because they're optional not on the main path, but... <laughs> this coin sucks. In my opinion, the mini game mode has one of the worst introductions out of any game mode in Geometry Dash. The first mini section is really buggy and not fun. The only thing I could complain about in theory of everything is how poorly made this mini UFO section is at the end. All the blocks are in the most annoying place they can possibly be in. Hope to see you in the next episode of the series tomorrow. This is one thing I hate about every jump just level part 4. In my opinion, the worst thing about Electro Man Adventures is how little of the breakable blocks there are. They're one of the most underutilized blocks in Jump Dash and I wish they were used more often in levels. It's not really the level's fault, but in my opinion, the worst thing about Club Sub is how many bad remakes were made of it. If you've played any of the map packs, you know how bad the Club Sub remakes are. If any of you have watched the first three parts of the series, you know how much I hate triple spikes. Well, guess what? In this level, there's quadruple spikes! Although it's not as bad as if you get the coin beforehand. The biggest problem with Hexcom Force is a really buggy section right after the ball. For some reason, I died to this part a lot and I don't don't know why. Especially this corner block here. And as promised, I'll end the video when I miss the coin and up there I go. See you in part 5 tomorrow. Bye. This is one thing I hate about every jump to level part 5. Last processing was really hard to find something I didn't like about it. However, I will say some of the transitions are quite buggy in this level. Particularly these three on screen right now. The theory of everything too. No surprise here, this is probably the worst part of any Rob Top level in existence. For this level, most of you are probably thinking about the memory part near the end of this level, but I actually really like this part, and I will actually choose how many moving objects are on the level as the worst part. The unsight readable, unfun, and annoying. I always hear everybody talk about how ugly Geometrical Dominator looks, but I think Deadlock looks way uglier than Geometrical Dominator. The colours don't match and the block designs are all bad. Oh, but it's time for me to health now. Bye! This is one thing I hate about every jump just over part 6. In my opinion, Fingerless's Lava theme doesn't really work well with this level. I feel like it could have been much better executed with different Block designs in different block colors. My main gripe with Dash is how empty the last 75% of the level feels. Everything after the first sneak peek feels really rushed and like it was made in a couple days. I don't really like the tower levels too much. What I don't like about the tower is how hard it feels just as an introduction for platformer mode. I feel like it should have been a little bit easier to help newer players ease into platformer mode, like how Stereo Madness did it. I think the same applies here as basically everyone agrees that this last boss fight in this level is way too hard for only being the second platformer level in the entire game. Those are the levels for today's video. <laughs> This is one thing I hate about every jump just level final part. The worst thing about the cellar is the amount of checkpoints there are. There's only one checkpoint. First thing I would have preferred if there were more checkpoints than just one, but I can understand why some people would like this. And for the final level, the problem with this level is how boring the first half is and how hard the second half is. It just makes for a really unenjoyable playing experience. So much so that I haven't even beaten it yet. That was the final part. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. Bye! Hope you enjoyed the series, as I enjoyed making it. Bye!